demanding stages and difficult conditions. Rally Argentina is a real monster. Time for Tango! It's a real highlight of our season and this year we're in warm, late summer sunshine. Welcome to Argentina everybody, John Desborough back with you from a long break for more from the World Rally Championship. Comfortably the biggest crowds of the season they say, certainly some of the most patient, some of the most curious and definitely the most enthusiastic that you'll see in any WRC season. I think we can expect a good battle, uh, not only between me and Seb, but uh, I'm sure Yari will will be back fighting hard. He won this rally last year, so um, I'm sure there's many uh, people who wants to fight for the victory this weekend. This year is really important to have the rhythm that you can be fast but also smart, because the stages are rougher than, than 2014. There is the world champion parked up today trying to dial a diagnosis into what happened to his, well, otherwise indestructible polo. Anyway. After around 10 k's in the stage, I started to have a problem with the, the power. I lost suddenly uh, the power of the car and the, the, the sound of the engine was very strange. And 6 k's before, 7 k's before the end, then suddenly it stopped completely and we couldn't um, make anything to try to restart the car. Uh, long stage has been a killer for everyone uh, where we got a puncture destroyed the damper and it came through and uh, leaving service uh, the steering didn't feel uh, completely right we tried to fix it but uh, we were not able so just to be safe we uh, we parked it uh, for the day we hopefully can return for super rally tomorrow but uh, it's not uh, the start of rally argentina one that i wanted a lot of us just cannot believe what we have seen happen today. I think all the cars have had problems, but we managed to come back and uh, we were lying on the second position and we lost the oil from the gearbox and then the, the car became two-wheel drive. We are on the third position, we tried to catch. Matt Suspect would be nice to, to climb up on the results. As always seen, the trophies are only given at the finish, so you need to get there to get, uh, get the result. Ogier, Mickelson, Patton, Tanak, they have all gone by the wayside, but there's still a great spectacle ahead. A difficult day once again with, uh, with some issue this afternoon. Uh, we start well this morning with the best time in the first stage, but then, uh, yeah, then we had a power steering issue this afternoon and I yeah, had to finish the day around 50k without, so it was uh, very hard. Today has been a much better day. We have won a lot of stages and uh, show that the potential is there. I really have enjoyed it. Uh, some really nice roads, so I can't wait for the power stage tomorrow. I try to keep the pressure on for Mass a little bit tomorrow. Uh, you never know, because it's uh, still twice you have to do this uh, El Condo. It's so 70 km stage, but a lot of rocks, very demanding, and so it's not an easy one. So we need to need to keep the pressure on. We've taken flight to Condor, one of the most famous, the most challenging, the most awkward on the planet, named after that bird, El Condor. Ogier is underway. After three perfect weekends, Argentina came back and has taken a big bite out. Blackwell are on the side of the stage with no car. Why? Because of another fuel supply problem to his polo. Understeers into that one, flicks the back up, and then hits the rear right again, reversing into that. The resume 
of the rally for Volkswagen can't be good having no car on the podium and uh, losing Jari Matti's car on the last day in the second last stage on podium position. The engineers and the mechanics did a fantastic job, always get the cars back to absolute perfect condition and this allowed Sebastian to win the power stage. It shows that uh, the Polo RWRC is absolutely capable of these rough conditions and very quick and fast so uh, we just have to accept that we had a bad weekend.